Auto Fractions! Now, when learning to order fractions, it's not just important to be able to order fractions from the smallest to the largest, because sometimes it might involve symbols that look like this. And hopefully by now, you should actually know what these symbols mean. So these two symbols here mean greater than and less than. And this sign down here means something is equal to. So for instance, if we were dealing with normal whole numbers, we would say here, two is greater than one. Or in this case here, we might say three is less than five. Or down here, we might say, uh, let's say, let's say six is equal to or the same as the number six. Okay, now these are very important things to remember. So, these two symbols here both mean greater than and less than. And this symbol here means equal to or the same as. Right, ready for the next part? Let's go! Now, when it comes to comparing or ordering fractions, the very first important step when using the pictorial method is to make sure that you draw bars of equal size. So here, I'm comparing a quarter and two fifths to see which one is larger and which one is smaller. So step one was to draw two bars of equal size because there's no point drawing two bars of different sizes. Then you're not comparing the same thing. Okay, so now next step after drawing two bars of equal size is to divide this first bar into one quarter. So I need four equal groups and I'm going to shade in one of those equal groups. So now you should be able to see I've divided this top bar into four equal groups and I've shaded in one of them to make one quarter. Right, step three. Now that I've done that, I now have to divide my second bar into two fifths. So I need five equal groups and I'm going to shade in two of those equal groups. Voila, okay. So now I've split that second bar into two fifths. And now for the next step, we have to compare the two. And straight away, you can see that my top bar, okay, you can see that one quarter is in fact less than having two fifths. So how will I write that? Well, in my final answer, I would write one quarter is less than two fifths. And that's how we compare fractions. Right, now let's see what we have to do if we had to order the fractions from smallest to largest. So here you can see we've got a question that says we need to put these fractions in order from the smallest to the largest. Well, how do we do that using the bar model? Well, first of all, if you remember, step one is we have to draw some bars of equal size. So we've got four different fractions, so we're gonna to have to draw four different bars. So let's do that first. All right, so we've done that. We now have four bars of equal size. So that's step one. Step two is we need to divide all these bars, okay, into the correct fractions. So this first bar, I'm gonna divide into one fifth. This second bar into two fifths. The third bar into two quarters and the fourth bar into three sixths. So let's do that now. And voila, I've now divided all the four equal bars into the correct amounts. So here we've got one fifth of the bar, we have two fifths of the bar, two quarters, and finally three sixths of the amount of the bar. Now, for the last step, we need to put these in order from smallest to largest. And as you can see, okay, compare the fractions, Okay, one fifth is actually the smallest. So what, how we're going to write that is we're going to say one fifth is less than, okay. Now the next one up is we can see that two fifths here is bigger than one fifth, but it's actually smaller than both two quarters and three sixths. So we're going to say one fifth is less than two fifths, which is less than two quarters. Now. If you look at the two quarters and the three sixths side by side, you can actually see that they're of equal size, the, the, of, sorry, of equal amount. So because they're of equal amount, we can actually say that two quarters is equal to or the same as three 
sixths. And we have managed to order the fractions from the smallest amount to the largest amount. Okay, so now it's your turn. All I would like you to do on your whiteboards is to have a go at these two questions. So the first one says, which fraction is larger? 3 sevenths or 4 eighths? Okay, have a go on your whiteboard like we did in this video. If you can't remember to do it, please remember you can always rewind and watch that part again. Next, what I'd like you to do is to have a go ordering these fractions from the smallest to the largest. And again, rewatch the video if you're having any trouble. All right then, good luck.